Kendall here with you, and I am with uh, Bob Harrison. It's been great having dinner with you tonight. Yeah. You guys are here. And the whole group. Oh, yeah. And thank, thank well, it to Jim Collins. And uh, we're snagging you for a minute here before you have to take off. And also we have with us Peter Lowe. 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 And Mike. many people are going to be Yes, here. yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Celebrity here, I feel humbled just to be at the table. I mean, that's seriously. But Peter's accomplishing his life and the people he's been responsible for bringing into the kingdom and the people he's impacted and the leaders he's been able to influence has just been only heaven knows. Yeah, and, and, and it's an honor to have you with us. And you were going to tell one more story before you head out, and uh, you are yeah, Mr. Yeah, Jim, Jim, well, Jim asked, how did, you meet, how did you meet Kenneth Hagan? And it kind of relates with something Peter just shared with us about you know, when you want to uh, be around somebody at a higher level, and how do you get them to associate with you, whatever, instead of trying to take for them, try to find something you can do for them or minister to them. Uh, in 1976, I was asked if I would take a group of people over to Brazil for the opening of the uh, Christian Businessmen's European headquarters. And they said, we'll give you a free trip. Uh, you and your wife can have a free trip. You can stay in the suite, and all you have to do is just fly over there with them and see that they get to the hotel and fly them back and the rest of the time it's yours. I said, that's not a bad deal. You know, like, you know, be with some of my friends, they're paying for my ticket, I got a suite, I'm off. So I arrived there, find out no arrangements are made for these people for the two days before the conference is gonna take place. So we ended up on a Sunday night, phoning around, chartering a bus, taking them to Paris one day. And then the next day we take them over to, uh, they, didn't, they didn't know what to do the next day, so the next day we take them to Holland. Uh, the next the, the Wednesday, the meeting's starting, and I'm exhausted. I mean, I flew all night, brought these people over. I've been their tour leader on the bus for two days, not getting paid, just taking care of them. I want to go sleep. I want to enjoy my suite. And I want to enjoy the 50 tulips that I have because it was the right season for tulips. And so, in my suite. So, I'm lying down, and the phone rings, and I wake it up. And this person says, we have Brother Hagen down here in the lobby. We can't, we can't find the head of the conferences. The hotel is sold out, and they say he doesn't have a reservation. So he's flown all night. He's their guest speaker, and he has no room. So I said, just a minute. So I, I you know, run down to the front desk to talk to the manager and find out they are sold out. And nobody made a reservation. Or we don't have that happen. I don't know what. But anyway, and they said, the only thing we can do, we can put them in the hotel across the street. I looked across the street. And I said, Brother Hagen can't stay in that hotel. And as a guest speaker, he shouldn't stay in that hotel. So I said, just a minute, I think I got an idea. So I phoned up to my wife and I said, honey, Brother Hagen arrived, he doesn't have a room. I said, I think we should give him our suite. Oh, wow. So I haven't even had a chance to enjoy it yet. I've been, you know? <laughs> 30 minutes later, we were packed and out of the room. They made dinner and within one hour, Brother Hagen had our suite. And they said, the only place we can put you is in that dive across the place. And I said, well, that's it. That's what we'll do. And as it turned out, somebody knows showed me ended up being able to stay in the property. Brother Hagen was so moved by the act of love that we did for him. He made it a point to have lunch with us during that conference. Then when we got back, uh, uh, he said, I want to see you again. When he came out to California, he would call us and we'd go to dinner with him. Uh, within two years, I was on Brother Higgins' board that I served for 29 years. Behind the scenes, learning so much about the Word and so much about the Holy Spirit yes. and seeing faith operating in life. And all of that happened. How did I? Everybody's trying to clean and get a hold of Brother Hagen. Why me? Because I didn't try to clean and get a hold and get something from him. I was willing to do something. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And if we look for opportunities to ministry, God will give us relationships that we desire. That's yes. That's Amen. 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 That's you awesome. Have a conference coming up. Yes. <laughs>